Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Gutierrez, I'm a counselor at Stockton Unified and today I'm going to show you guys how to apply to the San Joaquin Delta College. Um, it's pretty simple but it, some parts could be confusing so I'm going to walk you guys through the process. The first thing you want to do is go to the Delta College website, so that's deltacollege.edu. The link is also in the description so you guys could go to that. Um, so once you're at the website, you're going, to see, um, the, you're going to see a bunch of different things. So at the top right, first thing you're going to see is apply, my Delta, register, and visit. What you want to do is click on apply. So you go ahead and just click apply. It'll take you to this other uh, page. So basically you just scroll down. And it, has, it asks you what type of student are you. Are you a first-time college student? Are you a dual enrollment student? Are you a returning student? Basically, they are all eventually going to take you to the same place. But the only difference is it gives you different instructions on each one of these uh, uh, pages. So the first thing you want to do is, uh, depending on who you are, is click that. But for example, I'm doing this for the dual enrollment students. So what you want to do is click on dual enrollment or college early start. And then once you're there, it gives you just a little description about what it is. But what you want to do is go where it says steps to apply. And you want to click on step one, apply for admissions. So... Basically, this is one website, deltacollege.edu, and it's going to take you to another website, and then that website's where you apply. So, what you want to do is click Apply to Delta College, and then you're at a different website now. The website is now called openccapply.net, and basically, this is where students apply to junior colleges, all right? First thing you're going to need to do is create an account. Now, it's a pretty simple process to create an account, but uh, <clears throat> understand that you're actually not creating your, uh, your Delta account. You're creating an account with this website, and this is where you're going to apply every semester to the junior college. So it's important that you remember your uh, login and all your information, okay? So I've already created one, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and sign in. Uh, but basically, one thing to keep in mind is when you create an account is to have your social security number. If you don't have your social security number, it is going to be a lot more challenging. You're actually not even going to really be able to do it. So make sure before you start, you have your social security number. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do right now is because I've already created my account, I'm going to go ahead and just sign in and then I'll tell you guys what the next step is. So... One thing, I'm at this page right now, but one thing that happens after you create your account, it actually doesn't bring you back here. It uh, just kind of creates like a blank page. So if you're there, it's very simple. Just go back to the, I have two tabs open, I just can tell. Um, is you just want to go back to where it says apply to Delta College. And instead of creating an account, you just go sign in this time because you just created your account. So keep that in mind, right? So once you finish creating an account, go back to the Delta website and then go, um, apply to Delta College and click sign in. I don't know why it does that, but it does do that. So just keep that in mind. So if you get to that page at the end and you don't know where to go, just go back here and then go sign in. So once you click sign in, you're going to go to this page, right? So it's open CCC. Um, and basically you're just going to type in the username that you just created and the password and sign in okay now this is where you're actually going to select san joaquin delta college to apply to so right here it says start a new application so basically you just click the little arrow and it's not in alphabetical order i don't know why it's not in alphabetical order but um it's just not so what you got to do is just scroll through and look for san joaquin delta college san joaquin delta college and then I guess if you're from out of area, you can just pick whatever college you're picking. But San Joaquin Delta College, I found it. And then basically what you want to do is click Start Application. And then for a lot of you guys, it just depends on when you're going to take the class. So let's say you may not want to take the class, but you just need an ID to get like college early start credit, things like that. I would just apply for the next term, right? So I would put, um, right now I guess the only one is spring 2020. So I put that one. My educational goal, I always put undecided on goal because it really doesn't make a difference. So you start actually going, talking to an advisor and things like that. 
um, intended major. Um, just put whatever you're interested in because you can't really put uh, undecided or other, like they don't have that as an option. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just pick, a, I guess something that's, I guess it's anything, art. Let's see. And I'm gonna go ahead and continue. So now that you completed what term you're applying for, what uh, your educational goals are, then it's actually time to fill out the application. It doesn't ask you for a transcript or grades or anything like that. Um, it's just gonna try to confirm like your information. For what I'm gonna do is go ahead and skip a lot of this information. Um, just simply because you guys um, can do it on your own. It's not gonna ask for anything um, that you guys probably wouldn't already know. So go ahead and fill it out to the best of your ability. All right, you guys, so I went through the entire application, so it should all be green, as you guys see on the uh, screen right now. And basically, once they're all green, you get the option to review your application. Go ahead and review it. I already reviewed it. Um, so that way you can make sure all the information is accurate, because sometimes um, it might not always be. Maybe we move a little bit too quickly. So what you're going to do now is, after you review it, you're going to scroll down, and you're going to say, request for consent to release information. Um, this is just if you want your your information out there. Um, I always put no, but if, if you read and it applies to you, you can put yes. Um, submit your application. So basically you have to just check these boxes and then check these boxes. And basically you read that and that you're basically agreeing to it. That's what it is. And then you go down and then you go submit my application. So now that I've submitted my application, it says, great job, as well, you know, like your application submitted, confirmation, and below that is the confirmation information. So what you want to do is go ahead and just use your phone to take a picture of it, and then uh, just go ahead and hold on to that. Once you go ahead and take a picture of the confirmation information, you can continue, and it moves on to a survey to see how you did. Uh, I kind of feel like it could be a little confusing, especially when you create an account, and then you have to go back to the website. It could be a little confusing, so I'm kind of neutral about it. Um, one thing I don't like about, I guess, that I've experienced with the Delta College is you have to wait a couple days before you get your ID. So it's going to take like three, four days before you get your Delta College ID. Um, where I'm from, uh, as, at the community college, wherever you applied, it was instant. So it'd be nice if Delta could eventually move to that system where, you know, just a few minutes later you receive your ID. Um, that would be something for the future. So now that... Um, what I recommend is for the students, yes, it's very simple. Then I'm just going to submit my survey. And then that's it. So I am done, and I'm just going to check my email. Make sure you use an email that you have access to, not a school email, but like a personal professional email. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to wait for my ID. And then uh, after that, you can, you know, start enrolling for classes and whatever it is that you plan to do. But this is how you apply to the San Joaquin Delta College website, and all the information is... Uh, in the description as well <laughs> along with the steps so thank you guys for watching and if you guys ever need help with anything uh feel free to reach out to your counselor